Now, once you have made your scenario, you've got your trends, you've identified your projections based upon extrapolation from those trends and created forecasts on those and developed your scenarios, then we can use a technique called backcasting. Now, you're not going to do this for your assignment, but this is another technique in futures research where once we have the future that we want to see occur, then we can look at how to actually make it occur. And we step back looking at what has to come about in order for that future to be arrived at. And this then can inform our policy making and our planning to help enable that future to occur. Or conversely, we can look also look at dystopian futures. So if we look at a worst case scenario and then work back and look at, okay, what needs to be done to ensure this doesn't occur? An example of that is around looking at global warming and where we don't want to get to in the future where we have large sea level rises, we're now stepping back and looking at what needs to occur to ensure that that doesn't happen, such as reducing our carbon footprint and the emissions of CO2 into the atmosphere. So backcasting is a technique that is very useful in future studies because it directly can inform policy and decision making in how we go about our practice. So once we've identified where we want to go or where we don't want to go, then we can look at ways of getting there. And that's the process of backcasting. And we'll explore some of these approaches in the tutorial.